You know, there are certain mountains that have withstood your prayers, withstood your fastings, withstood your faith, that your faith is almost diminishing. Maybe what you need is an introduction of the grace of God in your life. That God is saying that you have pushed that mountain for too long and it's not moving. It's time for you to step out of the way and allow the grace of God turn that mountain to become a flat road. Said is he who comes in the name of our God. Please lift your hands. I'm seeing a spirit that looks like a snake. And God is asking me to pray if you are from Benue State or you are from the south, lift your hands. You are from Benue State or you are from the southern part of Nigeria, lift your hands. I want to pray. There's a strong deliverance that God wants to do. Just lift your hand. I'm seeing a spirit that looks like a snake from the waters. And the sword of the Lord is about to cut that serpent into pieces. Now, Father, I speak to those who are from these locations that you have just mentioned. That in the name of Jesus, every covenant with the waters, every covenant with serpent spirits, I command that by the power that is in the blood of Jesus, let those covenants be broken now in the name of Jesus Christ. Now I release the sword of judgment. I release the sword of the Lord. I cut that serpent into two right now. Yes, let's hear the testimonies quickly. Yes, sir, Papa. This is RDM's God, God love. When you mentioned about the snake, yes, people from Benue State, yes. from the south, he confirmed that his mom just yesterday had called him and explained to him that she has been having these dreams that snake will appear to her she's from benway state she's from benway state she's from benway state sir and what, what happened now every time the snake appears to her throughout yeah. the whole day she has this severe headache uh-huh that occurs to her but he believes that at the declaration of the word of the lord she has been free can you clap your hands for the king of kings and also sir when you mention about the power of God coming upon you and you have itches around your body, yeah. he instantly began to feel those itches and some body pain. He felt itches, yes, itches around That's the spirit of affliction. He said he has hepatitis B, but he believes that it is, it is gone. This is how you celebrate God. All at once in one service. I'm speaking to you, connecting you to your mother and your entire family. That spirit is gone forever and it will never return. Amen. There will be no trace of hepatitis in your body again. Amen. Jesus. Amen. When was the last time you got tested for that? It was um, like a week ago. A week ago. Can you go this week again? Yes, sir. Go and bring the, the negative of that report. Amen. And the Lord will confirm his word in Jesus' name. Amen. This is Grace John. Yes. She says she, ha she was feeling so much heaviness emotionally. But while you were ministering, she received it so much It was lifted. Peace. Yes, it was lifted. Every burden on your life is lifted today. Amen. Every burden of frustration, of depression, of discouragement, of pain, of anxiety, of despair, it is lifted off your life forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. We Please have an ahead. online testimony. Yes. She, this is from Peace Daniel. It says, I've been suffering for about... From where? Where's the person from? From Meduguri. Yeah. Okay. It said, I've been suffering for about a month with a swollen eye. Swollen eye? Yes. Uh -huh. But during the prayer, miraculously, the eye deflated. Swollen eye. Deflated. That's a miracle, not healing. That's a miracle. In the case of a healing... The anointing will take away the spirit responsible for keeping that ailment. Then the body will use time to naturally recover. But when it is a miracle, it means it has changed instantly. May God do a miracle in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. You know, some of us have gone through life in a way that you have now developed a survival mentality. You struggle to survive everything in fact if you you believe that if you don't pray so much nothing good will happen do you know that there is a place called rest 